hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is david and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to find a phd or master's thesis topic to find a phd topic or a master thesis topic is to actually go to your supervisor or your professor's website or the their pages in the university website right and when you scroll down you can find their interests or uh, topics that they are willing to supervise and most of the times the the supervisors or the professors they lay down these kind of ideas as to which type of topics they are interested and this will give you an idea of a topic or an idea of what you want to do sometimes coming up from your own idea what topic you want to study is difficult but once you go to the professor's website they have so many ideas so many research um, interests that you can also pick from that and then also develop something out of that and because they are already stated as an interest for them once you develop a proposal on those kind of topics it means that you have a high chance they are going to accept you to supervise your work another way you can also find a topic is actually discussing with other colleagues or other friends right even not in the same school it could be friends from afar friends that you've talked to in a long time just call them just discuss that you want to do a master's thesis or a phd but you want to find a topic and so if they could possibly suggest a topic for you and this really helps a lot because most of the times um, this if you want to do a phd for example and there are already some people who are uh, doing it when you start your phd you come to a point where you have so many ideas that you wish you would have done that right and so it's very good i discuss with other colleagues other friends about your phd and they can also suggest you a topic for your phd so the third idea to find a phd topic is to look at the topics of students who are supervised by your potential supervisor right or your potential professor so uh, this is the the case most of the times some of the professors they have a very narrow way of their research and sometimes most of the um, the students who are under him or her they have a similar topics even though it's not the same thing but you can determine from the fact that okay this um, professor is into maybe technologies maybe this professor is into um, management right and so you have to find the topics of students who are being supervised by this professor to give you an idea of what kind of topic or what kind of idea you have to develop in the first place and so the third option is by going to the website also looking at the topics of students who are already doing their masters or their phds and then get an idea of a particular topic okay so the last point is to actually go into a journal or find some articles or publications and then when you find a publication that is similar to your field of study or some a little idea you've come across just scroll down to the bottom side and um, look at the conclusion and normally most of uh, or before the conclusion is sometimes people put it before the conclusion or in the conclusion session and this place normally people suggest future research now future research is about uh, topics that that particular research couldn't cover but they think it's very important that other people or the person who actually wrote it will want to do it in the future right and so most of the time people suggest topics that they think it should be done to complement what they did so when you find some publications you can actually find these future research ideas from these publications and out of that you can also find a topic and then develop that topic as your proposal for your phd or your master's thesis and so guys um these are the these are the options i have for you i think it will help you to find a topic i know is the most difficult part of the entire research right and so once you find a topic then you can create it you can develop it further 
so thank you guys for watching the video and i hope it has helped you and i'll see you in another one thank you bye